Jim Taylor here, Truckworks Kenworth. I want to show you today your Eaton 1800 watt inverter through the driver's side luggage access door. Hey, located inside the truck, I wanted to show the uh, control panel of the Eaton inverter and it's located uh, in the sleeper area on the uh, control panel. So we want to go ahead and just show you the function. Here's your power button on the left and we can see our status light is yellow. We have our selection button to the right that we can go through all the different options to set the Eaton inverter. Uh, there's really no reason to put in custom settings because it'll be set just the way you need it from factory. Uh, hold the button and we cut off the control panel. Go through some troubleshooting on the Eaton uh, inverter if you ever had some issues. Uh, first thing to start out with is this inverter is equipped with a low voltage disconnect. If your accessories are pulling more voltage than the charging system is allowing the batteries to charge, it will cut the inverter off at 11.2 with an audible alarm. Uh, nothing to be worried about. We just need to cut our cut the inverter off, crank the truck, make sure our batteries get back up to charge. One thing also is it has a high temperature override. So when we pack our stuff under our bed compartment, we want to make sure, because it does have an internal fan, we want to make sure we don't have like blankets and stuff all over it, because it does need to cool itself, because if it does get to a high temp, it will shut itself down to prevent damage. Uh, we also have uh, fault codes that the display would show uh, with a red light if, if you ever do have an issue, and we're going to actually break down those fault codes uh, shortly. Uh, that way you could troubleshoot your issue if you do have a problem. Uh, also, uh, th this truck has uh, the GCFI outlets, so if your plugs aren't working, one thing to check is make sure your accessories uh, didn't trip the outlet uh, just by resetting them.